in my quest to find tools that makes it easier for me in my computer repair shop, I've come across some, some unique tools, I might say, to make my life a little bit easier. And I think that's important for anybody that owns any kind of a shop, not just a computer repair shop or a body shop or you know any kind of shop for that matter. It's always important to always look for tools or ways to make your life a little easier. Hello everyone, I'm Tim with Tim's Computer Repair here in Savannah, Georgia. My website is timscomputerfix.net. It's TCR, Tim's Computer Repair. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about, you wouldn't believe it, something that's made my life a lot easier in my shop, magnets. Magnets. You say, how? How in the world can magnets make your life easier? Well, I'm going to take you through a little tour here, just give you some ideas. Uh, just excuse my shaky camera because I'm kind of doing this on the fly. So we'll go ahead and just take this off my tripod here. We'll, we'll go around and have a little look uh, for some, some items. I'll give you some examples of, of what I'm talking about here. Um, so, for instance, uh, screws. Hey, let's start simple, right? Uh, you know, we come across these all the time in, in repairs. Little small little small uh, laptop screws, metal screws, and, and you have screwdrivers, right? Some magnetize, some not, but as you see here, it's, it's you know, this, this screwdriver would be a pain for me to work with. This isn't my only screwdriver, by the way, I should know that. But, okay, let's start with this. This magnet right here, this small magnet. I get these, I have tons of these, and anybody that may own a computer repair shop might also, but you can find these at hardware stores too, uh, are actually uh, sleep magnets for the bezels behind this bezel somewhere on almost all laptops. Ones that doesn't have the physical button usually have a magnet that's up in here somewhere that fits, that fits you know, wherever they put it. And then, so when it closes, the magnet initializes the sleep. There's a sensor down in the bottom of the laptop that that the magnet initiates okay so I got tons of these guys right so you know I just usually sometimes I'll just and that guy's already stuck I'll just put them on the on the ends of my screwdrivers there and 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 now I have you know a magnetized a magnetized screw head I mean it's just just that easy so that's one way magnets make my life easier is in screwdrivers now now speaking of magnets uh, these guys here come in handy, big time, right? For those of you who don't recognize this, these actually come in uh, hard drives. And with me owning a, re a repair shop, bring you over this way, these are my bi-weekly stack of dead hard drives that I get in. These are all dead, no good. Uh, I'll go through, before I destroy these, I'll go through a handful of them, take them apart, and pull those magnets out. Those are some very powerful magnets that are, that are in those. And, you know, just to give you an idea, I just take my screwdrivers, and you can mount these anywhere. They have holes in them to mount. I'll just give you an example here. Uh, you just take your screwdrivers, set them on there. You can keep all your screwdrivers you can, you can nail these up to a wall, screw them into a wall, put all your tools and screwdrivers hanging off of it, and they stay magnetized. So basically you just pull it off, and you're magnetized. Cool. Alright. There's another way, another good uh, example of how, you know, getting magnets, uh, getting parts in my shop that have magnets, I'll keep them out. So let's, we'll move along to... Um, Let's see, okay, <clears throat> we have these. Okay, I'm sure, you've seen, I'm sure you've seen these before. And these pretty much just, uh, you know, they extend out. They're on like a little extendable wand. You can find these in any hardware store probably for, you know, a few dollars maybe. We'll open that up all the way just to let you look. Pretty, pretty doggone long. You know, this is really good for 
Um, you know, maybe maybe picking up screws. I'll, I'll get here. Here, I have an example right here. Let's go over here. Let's just say, for instance, you drop a screw in a motherboard case. I mean, into a case where your motherboard is, and say you just can't get down there and reach it. This is just an example. Now, of course, I could reach this. So you can see that screw down there. I just take my little tool, reach out, right. Boom. I can, I can retrieve. I can retrieve my screw. Little tough spot there. So this is really good for that. Um, and the other thing this would is really good for this tool. I'll give you an example. So you have a a, a, a abundance of screws to pick up, you know, and, and put say like in a jar or a can. Um, you can just whoop, just touch them. It picks up quite a lot at a time. And I'm doing this with one hand, so you have to bear with me here, right? Uh, it makes picking up screws pretty easy, right, in that regards. So here's another tool, magnetic tool, that comes in handy. Um, I like it. I use it often. And I just, I just keep this underneath my, underneath my bench right there, with, along with my other magnets I have here. Magnets, right? All right. We can uh, get a little bit more advanced, I guess we could say advanced. Um, this is a called a wire python, it's a magnetic wire snake. And in this case, what this is good for, and I'm going to try to set the camera down here where I can kind of show you, okay, and pull this stuff out of the case. Uh, this is this is your handheld, this is the magnet, okay? This is a handheld magnet, a uh, pretty powerful magnet. And here we have, it's a, it's a metal weight, it's, it's fairly heavy. Whoops, see, very heavy. Um, so that comes with the kit, okay? But then we have this flexible metal wand here, right? And what we do, Is we screw this onto here, okay, and that, that gives us this, right, and this is on the end of it. And with this end, what we do is we attach our Cat5 cable. Now this is for whenever we, we're running cable down through a wall, down to a cutout or a punch out in a, in a drywall, wall in a home or a business, okay, and basically you see Let's see if I could give you an example. Yeah, let's just get you back on my tripod here real quick. Whoop, sorry about the. Don't get dizzy. Right. So let me just swing you around. Okay. Let's see if we can get you a better angle here. Right. So. So this is going to go down behind your drywall, and we have this tool here. We have this tool here that has wheels on it, so we don't scratch the wall. So we're going to come this way, down the wall. But this is on one side of the sheetrock. This is on the other. Your Cat5 cable is attached here. So we're just going to we'll bring our magnet closer, and boom, it attaches. It's very powerful. And then you just pull, pull your wire down. The whole unit down, down your wall, and down the way you have the hole, the punch out that, that you have to pull your cat five through. So here's another good way a magnet should use to help my business to make life easier. Very, very good tool here. Will save you. Will save you if you're trying to run cat five cable in a business or a home. All right. So with that being said. We can move on to something. Does this ever happen to you? Let's let's let me take you off the tripod again here. Does this ever happen to you? Or oh, this has happened to me many times. Let's just give you another example here, okay? Working on a working on a motherboard, right? We're working on a motherboard here. Okay, this is just an example, okay? So we're gonna we're gonna start taking out these little small screws, right? Let's just say we can't find these screws anywhere else. I mean, I've got a whole bottle of these screws in here, but 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 some some jobs we work on require special screws that we don't have. Some of them very small, 
to some of them you know easy to find some of them you won't be able to find so let's just say I'm working on a laptop and we're gonna put our screws in this little container and, and all of a sudden whoops uh oh now we've dropped our screws onto this textured floor who knows where they're at you're not going to be able to find it who's got time to sit down there during your work day down on your hands and knees trying to find wait let's 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 see what our magnet here can do so i'll pull my magnet out right <laughs> and uh let's see uh i could i could go like this all day trying to find this i could run my hands down you know that's what now i'm down on my hands and knees i'm i'm trying to find this screw i still haven't found it all right these two screws right this isn't going to help me much let's put that away oh i know let's try this let's try our hard drive magnets well probably a little better it's a little wider you get down here and you're going to have to kind of rub this all over the floor you know you're down on your hands and knees you're getting frustrated you got to find the screw because there's no there's not another one like it right and and you're like who knows how long that'll take well <clears throat> I've got a solution to that one of my most prized magnetic tools now let's get you back on the tripod here everyone okay one of my most prized magnetic tools is this all right and this is a this is a uh, pickup stick magnetic pickup stick you can find at like home depot or lowe's uh and it's got an extendable it's got an extendable arm on it very powerful sweet magnet white here at the bottom sticker so you can see your screws right you can pick these up at like home depot or lowe's for around twenty dollars but then very simply enough all we'll do is we'll take it and we'll just kind of sweep along oh i think i heard something we'll sweep along here on the floor see what we can pick up okay flip it over ah there's one look at there there's another one, right? Just that easy. Just that easy. So, let's just, I mean, and not just for that. Not just for that. But let's say something else crazy happens. I mean, look. Look, oh my God. Oh my God, all these screws. My whole bottle of screws just fell out on the floor. There are literally hundreds of screws now strung about on my floor. Little teeny tiny screws. What am I going to do? Well, I could get my other technician to get down there and find all those himself. Or, I could just pick up my magnetic sweeper. And just a couple of passes. You just pass this over. You know, you never know. You might have a something that spills. You know, it happens in your shop, right? Right? And look at there. I've already picked up almost all of these screws and a couple more passes I'll, I'll have them all it picks up everything this metal very powerful very strong so uh so i hope i hope uh, i hope this tip helps someone because i'm telling you that magnet has done nothing but save me in a lot of situations uh it, it's good for anything metal short metal sh metal I, i've cut metal in my shop uh shaved metal i've used um Dremel tools to uh, ream holes and stuff like that for metal. I get I get metal uh, metal fragments that fall on my floor in my shop. That if somebody came through, I, own, I run a business out of my home, and if someone came through, like my wife or I in the shop with their socks on, they could easily go in the foot, get stuck. Every now and then, um, I'll run that magnet over my shop just for the heck of it, and you wouldn't believe the things I pick up. It's just amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate and subscribe to my feed. If you're in the Savannah, Georgia area and need any help with repairing your computer, my website is timscomputerfix.net. Go visit that site. You can find out more about me and my services. 
So uh, I'm going to be making some more computer repair videos soon, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments. So until next time, see you soon.